Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, Jez here from nigeza.blogspot.com. Um, um, I've been very busy uh, lately. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a teacher and this is just um, a really, really busy time of year um, as students end their courses, meet deadlines, get things ready for the exam board and I've just been mad busy marking. Um, but that being said, um, I am now losing um, my year 13 students and I always make them a, a, a card um, to send them on the way off to university or, or jobs and so um, this is the card that I've designed for them um, using the um, watercolour wishes um, not watercolour wishes it's watercolour wings isn't it um, stamp set um, which is a three step stamp set so there we are watercolor wings um, and um, I've stamped ready I'm not going to show you how to st stamp them because there's plenty of uh, videos um, on YouTube to show you that um, so last night whilst watching telly um, I stamped all of these and then cut them out with my um, butterfly well butterfly flamelet um, to, to, to cut them out and I just wanted to create something sort of simple eye-catching a little bit pink because they're all girls and I chose this sentiment the sky is the limit which is from um, a, a celebration um, stamp set from a couple of years ago but I just felt that that sentiment was was perfect for sending them on the way to, to uni um, and now I am busy I haven't got much time um, so I wanted a quick way of, uh, of stamping this this background I did think of doing lots of different things that actually would take a lot of time but I just wanted them to be quick so in order to do this quickly I'm using my Tim Holtz stamping platform which you know, it's not a stamping up product but it's a wonderful product um, and you know it combines with um, lots of our stamping up stuff really really well um, I find it really useful um, because I've got um, rheumatoid arthritis and so one of the things that that is affected uh, majorly by that is, is is your hands and sometimes they're really quite sore and so I do find sort of picking up stamps and doing that um, I've got to make 11 of these so there's there's three stamps on there so that'd be 33 times yeah I can do my maths and you know peeling them off of stamp pot and putting them back on um, can be quite hard so I'm just going to show you how incredibly quick it is um, with this um, and it's so exciting you know to have uh, an affordable to a to alternative um, in the UK to the Misty which I have contemplated on numerous times um, paying out um, for a Misty um, because because of my condition but thankfully I don't have to so I'm laying these on the card roughly in the position that I want them and it's got two sides to this you've got a, a rubber side which I'm using because this is rubber but if you had the clear photopolymer you just turn it round to where it says clear and stick it on and away you are um, just two pieces and and that's and that's all there is to it so you just put them on your thing press it down pick it up that's it I am using um, powder pink for this when I made the butterflies the um, background is powder pink um, this pinky there is flirty flamingo and the darker sections are blackberry burst so I'm going for a, a subtle background, um, so I'm sticking with my uh, powder pink. I'm not a pinky girl at all, but um, I do quite like it um, in the background. And as I say, all my students are girls, and so I think they'll like it. So that's so that's it. So that's one. And the magnets hold it in place and you just pink it up, stick it down. And then they'll all be in exactly the same position. 
And this is so much easier on my hands. So if you have got any sort of dexterity issues, issues with your hands being sore, this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If I was doing this by hand, by hand, I am doing it by hand, but if I was doing it without my stamping platform, it would be taking its toll on the ansies. I'm actually, I saw a little tip on crafting for almost everyone um, who also has um, rheumatoid arthritis. And um, she put a bit of washi tape around her magnets to make it easier to pick up. And I am actually going to do that because um, they are they are really, really strong magnets. And um, I am sometimes, especially if they ping together, um, it is really, really hard um, to get them off if they pingy pingy together. Well, they don't so much ping, they just go prunk, and then they're done. So, nearly done. Really, really quick. I quite like this. It did take me a bit longer to do the butterflies. So when I did the butterflies, um, I cut, I cut small pieces of card about that sort of size, um, so that they would stick in the corner, and I uh, stamped the powder pink. Um, main base and did each of them and then I did the flirty flamingo edges and then I did the the berry burst and, and what's brilliant about the three stamp stage one is the the fact that you could just get your head right over it when you laid on the photopolymer and you could you could see that it was definitely in the right place and because the bits of paper were all going in the corner at the same place that you uh, you knew that each one of them you were going to hit the right spot every time which I really liked. Right I may as well keep that one in there because now we've done that I'll just peel them off I'll clean them off after and then for my sentiment I'm just going to stick that where I want it. So I want it to be down there. This sentiment, I actually got the wood mounted one, which is no good um, with the uh, with this system. So uh, I took it off the wood mount and um, I just used some now, if you'd done that, if you'd have dropped your ink pad, I would now have had a splodge, wouldn't I? Now then, I'm just checking, looking at that. Is it straight? Am I happy? Yeah, I am. And this, I know we've got a stamp in my jig, but again, although I, I quite like stamping my jig, and I did use it a lot, sometimes with my hands, it was really hard. And the other thing you can do, I don't think that's dark enough. You can go back in, and that's just lovely. So yes, the stepping jig is useful, but if you do have some hand problems, sometimes and sometimes you slip, don't you? Whereas this is just brilliant. How amazing is that? I just I ordered this. This was my Mother's Day present back in March. Um, that's British Mother's Day, um, and. Uh, it only came last week because they just kept running out of stock and uh, kept getting emails from the company. Oh, they haven't got them in stock. And um, it'll be next week. Oh, sorry, they didn't come. It'll be the week after. I was beginning to think I was never, ever going to get my hands on it. And I saw other people with it and other people have done little demonstrations um, of, of, of using this. And, uh, and I just thought, I just want it. And one of the main things I wanted for was, um, I do bulk um, make cards um, 
quite often, you know, Christmas time. Um, I do it at Easter and I make a load of um, Easter cards um, that are all identical. So for putting sentiments in, this is just absolutely amazing. I'm not happy with the way that is at the bottom. And they're perfect. Perfect. So, yeah. I'm sure they're going to be um, meeting demands soon. Um, but it's like half the price of a Misty. Um, and I say I've been watching our American cousins um, using the Misty for years and thinking, God, wouldn't I want them? But like 60 quid or more, it's just... That was just a ridiculous price, but I think I paid £26 for this. Well, can't go wrong, can you? So, and marvellous. There, nearly done. How long have I been going for? Uh, 10 minutes? Something like that? How quick's that? How quick indeed. There we go. And I do find with the when I did the photopolymer, the um, butterflies are a photopolymer, and normally with photopolymer you have to use a, a stamp pad. Um, but it just stamped them beautifully. There we are. So how brilliant! How quick was that? And then you just peel it off, and uh, that's it. We'll wash them again after and that's all there is to it now I could quickly show you um, on a scrap piece of card um, if I could find a scrap piece of card you know I've got a, I've got a room full of scrap bits of card um, when I want one I can't find one there we go scrap bit of card so in doing the watercolour wings you see how pink these are so took laid it on the card where I wanted it. I'm going to cut it out so I want to make sure I had a bit of an edge. Oh, it's not on the right side. Must have known because it didn't stick. Lay it down, stamp side to the paper in the position you want it. I didn't pick it up because it was the wrong one. Um, and then using powder pink I haven't got room on my desk to fold it flat that way but when I was using it before I did there we go and then I just then took the piece of paper out put another one in put another one in um, and did did like 12 like that and then when you come to doing the next one I just dropped it on the floor do you know I hope this camera doesn't swing out because you would just see what an incredible mess my room is um, and then you can just lay it over the top and you can see through it so you can get it in exactly the right position that you want and then pick it up and then get your I've used flirty flamingo stuck it down and then that was just absolutely perfect and then as I say I then went over all the ones that I've done and then for the middle section again I laid it on so I could see exactly where it was going got my berry burst hooked it up And that was that. And what I decided to do with the berry burst was give it a bit of an extra layer. 
and that was that. And then what I decided to do was I um, I cut them all out before I put the um, the body in. So I cut them all out. Oh, there you go. I cut them all out first, and then I just laid the butterfly in to the top corner, um, lined up where the butterfly's body went, and and did did them all afterwards. Um, that was the way I found it to be much much easier, and that worked really well um, for me. Um, and then all I did was I took my butterfly using my bone folder and I just rounded it like that then I did the wings back take one of my card bases and with a little bit of Tombow oh. I also did a bit of dimensionals Find my dimension. Come to me. Because, oh, because it's just because, because it's me. So what I decided to do was I wanted to make it look like it was um, flying. So um, I put one layer at the bottom and at the top. I decided to put two layers so they were slightly higher to give it that that bit of lift Getting to the end of this one please let me have another oh, just good grief can't believe can't believe that right just a little bit of Tombow there and then I'll take off these And then stick him on as though he's in flight. And that keeps the... What I did on this one was kind of drew a little bit of a um, flight pattern. But I'm not sure I like that. I think I might just leave it like that. So there we go. That is 10 cards, 11, almost finished in about 15 minutes. There. So that is easy stamping with the Tim Holtz um, stamping platform and a lot of nice stamping up stuff. Okay, hope to see you soon. Bye.